welcome to the first in my series of London area guides following on from my property Sundays. Now, if you're looking to buy or rent in London, come with me whilst I show you some of the local areas. Starting today with Holland Park in the Royal Borough of Kensington and Chelsea. Sounds expensive, right? That's because it is. So one bedroom properties around here go for nearly a million pounds. Now, if you're willing to compromise on maybe getting a slightly more purpose built building um, rather than these lovely period conversions that are around here or looking for something that's slightly smaller, um, maybe that would will help you out cutting out things like the garden and you may be able to save yourself a little bit of money. Uh, if you were looking to rent one bedrooms around here, you need about 2000 pounds a month. So this is Holland Park itself. Uh, now, famous residents that live around here include the Beckhams, you've got Simon Cowell, Jeremy Clarkson, they could all be your neighbors. And typically, just like this street, you get these beautiful white stucco fronted villas. Now, unlike many places in London that will have you know, split these up into different flats on each level, most of these are still big houses and they go in excess of like 20 million. Park sits next to the very busy neighbour of Notting Hill. But as you can see, it's a lot quieter and it's got a much more villagey atmosphere. That's because of the local shops, many of which are independently run, including a butcher's, bookshop, chocolate shop, deli, gift shop, luxury beauty salons, cafes and boutiques, not forgetting many a cute restaurant too. And if you want to be in with all the action, High Street Kensington and Westfields at Shepherd's Bush are only a few minutes walk away. Plus, the central line will take you straight into the city. And let's not forget Holland Park itself, hidden away, tucked off the main street. So you can even walk all the way through to High Street Kensington. The park itself is 54 acres of woodland, open green spaces, formal gardens, and not one, but two Japanese gardens, one being the beautiful Kyoto Garden, a lovely cafe, and even the open air Holland Park Theatre, which is home to the famous Holland Park Opera. There are even wild peacocks that roam around the park too. So in summary, Holland Park is the perfect hidden gem in amongst some of London's busier districts that still remains a village. Sure, you'll pay a price to live here, but hey, it will be worth it. I even spent six years here myself.